The year is 1940. Europe holds its breath. World War II has begun. After Germany's swift victory over Poland, an uneasy silence falls across Western Europe. This pause, known as the Phony War, is deceptive. Behind the lines, Germany prepares a devastating offensive. Their target? Neutral Belgium. The Battle of Belgium, launched on May 10, 1940, would be a brutal awakening. German forces, seeking to bypass the formidable Maginot Line, aimed to conquer Belgium and then France. The invasion marked the beginning of a new kind of warfare. Blitzkrieg. Fast-moving armored divisions, supported by relentless air attacks, would shatter the illusion of stalemate. Belgium, a small nation scarred by the horrors of World War I, found itself once again a battlefield. Its fate, intertwined with that of France and Britain, would determine the course of the war in Western Europe. The Battle of Belgium, though brief, would leave an indelible mark on history. In the pre-dawn hours of May 10, 1940, the German war machine roared into action. Operation Fall Gelb, the invasion of France and the Low Countries commenced. Belgium, caught in the crosshairs of history, faced the full fury of the Blitzkrieg. German paratroopers under the cover of darkness descended upon strategic targets within Belgium, their mission to secure vital bridges and disrupt Belgian defenses. Simultaneously, waves of panzer tanks spearheaded by General Heinz Guderian's 19th Panzer Corps surged across the Belgian border. The speed and ferocity of the attack were unprecedented. The Luftwaffe, Germany's air force, played a crucial role in the Blitzkrieg. Stuka dive bombers, known for their terrifying sirens, targeted Belgian airfields, communication centers and troop concentrations. The skies over Belgium became a maelstrom of fire and steel. The German invasion, a well-coordinated symphony of mechanized warfare, aimed to overwhelm the defenders before they could mount an effective resistance. The Allied response to the German invasion was swift, but hampered by miscalculations and delays. The French, confident in their Maginot Line defenses, had positioned their best forces along the Franco-German border. The British Expeditionary Force, under General Lord Gort, rushed into Belgium to support their Belgian and French allies. However, the speed and power of the German Blitzkrieg caught the Allies off guard. The Belgian army, though courageous, was ill-equipped to withstand the onslaught of panzers and dive bombers. Communication breakdowns and logistical nightmares plagued the Allied war effort. The Allies found themselves on the defensive from the outset. The German advance, spearheaded by armored columns, exploited gaps in the Allied lines. The Luftwaffe, enjoying air superiority, wreaked havoc on Allied troop movements and supply lines. Despite fierce resistance, the defenders were steadily pushed back. The Battle of Belgium saw the rise and fall of iconic leaders and the emergence of unsung heroes. On the German side, Adolf Hitler's gamble on a swift victory through Belgium would have far-reaching consequences. Field Marshal Erich von Manstein, the architect of the German plan, orchestrated the Blitzkrieg with ruthless efficiency. On the Allied side, King Leopold III of Belgium became a tragic figure. Criticized for his decision to surrender the Belgian army, he remains a controversial figure in Belgian history. General Lord Gort, commanding the British Expeditionary Force, faced the daunting task of extricating his troops from the jaws of defeat. Amidst the chaos and carnage, countless acts of bravery and sacrifice unfolded. Belgian soldiers and civilians alike displayed remarkable resilience in the face of overwhelming odds. The Battle of Belgium, though ultimately a defeat for the Allies, showcased the human spirit's capacity for courage and compassion even in the darkest of times. Section 5. The Fall of Fort Ibn Email. A Strategic Disaster. One of the most stunning events of the Battle of Belgium was the fall of Fort Ibn Email. This massive fortress, considered impregnable, guarded a crucial bridge over the Albert Canal. The Germans, knowing that capturing the bridge was vital for their advance, devised an audacious plan. On May 10, 1940, a small force of German glider-borne troops 
led by Lieutenant Rudolf Witzig, launched a daring assault on the fort. Using hollow charges and flamethrowers, they neutralized the fort's defenses and overwhelmed the Belgian garrison. The capture of Fort Eben Email sent shockwaves through the Allied High Command. The fort's rapid fall, achieved in less than 24 hours, demonstrated the effectiveness of German surprise tactics and the vulnerability of seemingly invincible fortifications. The loss of the bridge over the Albert Canal opened a crucial pathway for the advancing German panzers. Section 6, the battle for the Meuse, holding the line. As German forces poured into Belgium, a desperate race unfolded to establish a defensive line along the Meuse River. The Meuse, a natural barrier, offered the Allies their best chance to halt the German advance and buy time for reinforcements to arrive. French and British troops rushed to reinforce the Meuse bridges and establish defensive positions. However, the Germans, spearheaded by General Erwin Rommel's 7th Panzer Division, moved with astonishing speed. Rommel, known for his audacity and tactical brilliance, exploited gaps in the Allied lines and pushed his troops to their limits. The battle for the Meuse raged for several days, with both sides engaged in fierce fighting. Despite acts of extraordinary courage and determination, the Allies struggled to contain the German onslaught. Rommel's panzers, supported by relentless Luftwaffe attacks, eventually broke through the Allied defenses, opening a path into the heart of France. Section 7, the Allied counterattack, a glimmer of hope. Amidst the chaos, the Allies launched a counterattack near Arras on May 21, 1940. Spearheaded by British and French armored units, it aimed to disrupt the German flanks. Though ultimately unsuccessful, it achieved tactical surprise. The British Matilda tanks inflicted heavy losses on the Germans. The ferocity of the attack led to German hesitation. The counterattack at Arras offered a glimmer of hope. Section 8, the Siege of Dunkirk, evacuation under fire. As the German pincers closed around the Allied armies in Belgium and northern France, a dramatic evacuation unfolded at the coastal town of Dunkirk. Operation Dynamo, as it was codenamed, would become one of the most remarkable rescue operations in military history. From May 26 to June 4, 1940, a flotilla of over 800 British, French, Dutch, Belgian, and civilian vessels, ranging from warships to fishing boats, ferried soldiers across the English Channel under constant Luftwaffe attack. The evacuation, though chaotic, saved the lives of over 338,000 Allied soldiers. The evacuation from Dunkirk, though a logistical triumph, came at a heavy price. The British Expeditionary Force was forced to abandon vast quantities of equipment and supplies on the beaches of Dunkirk. The French army, having suffered heavy losses, was left reeling from the defeat. The fall of France seemed imminent. Section 9 Aftermath and Significance, a costly defeat. The Battle of Belgium ended on May 28, 1940, with the unconditional surrender of the Belgian army. Germany's victory opened the door to the swift conquest of France. The speed and ferocity of the German Blitzkrieg exposed weaknesses in Allied doctrine. The fall of France, six weeks after Belgium, sent shockwaves through the world. Section 10, Lessons Learned, Adapting to a New Kind of War. The Battle of Belgium forced the Allies to confront modern warfare. The German Blitzkrieg rendered traditional defensive strategies obsolete. The Allies had to adapt quickly or face annihilation. Dunkirk showed the Royal Navy's ability to rescue troops under pressure. The Allies eventually turned the tide against the Nazi war machine. Belgium's Place in History The Battle of Belgium stands as a testament to the resilience and courage of the Belgian people. Caught in the crossfire, Belgium became a battlefield, scarred by war. The battle had a profound impact on World War II. It marked the beginning of the end for Allied hopes in Western Europe. The Battle of Belgium reminds us of the fragility of peace and the enduring human spirit.